Guys, do you remember when I did the video about knife trends that I hated or that I'm over? I forgot one. It's these donut knives. <laughs> so at any rate, the knife we're going to look at is the CDC Chicago. Let's turn this around and take a look at what could be the best donut knife I've had or seen. Let's do this, I guess. Guys, there is something in this box, and you heard me talk about it in the intro. This is a knife trend that I'm kind of over, but I'm kind of conflicted about this one because this is the CDC Chicago, and that is Crispy Donut Community. And I'm <sighs> Chicago. Duh, bears. You know, that is. <sighs> I like the knife. I'm going to tell you right now, I like this knife. But I'm not eight years old. I do not need this gimmicky toy. Let's get this box out of the way. Uh, I don't need this gimmicky toy. Th this is actually a really good knife. And uh, I'm joking. Uh, I do understand a lot of people like these. Uh, they do offer a black version of this. So this is kind of tongue in cheek. But I really don't, I really have not been a big fan of any of the donut you know, the donut warrior knives that have come out. I don't like them. I think they're gimmicky. I think it's, you know, I do understand there's a lot of people that do. But with all that aside, this is a really good knife. This is the first I've carried this knife. This came in from Jared. I did not do a big unboxing because the unboxing videos just do not seem to do as well as I had hoped. And so technically, this is the unboxing. Um, so the first thing I will tell you, it's got a very nice shaped broad leaf style or spear point style blade with some incredibly good jimping. Uh, the action on this has been really, really good. The blade steel on this, I believe, yeah, S35VN, and it is really, really sharp. This is a nicely balanced knife. Um, even though I'm not a fan of this color combination, I guess, the baby blue and pink, not necessarily something I'm a big fan of, but they have the black version, which does have these cutouts, and I gotta say, that's a very comfortable tactile grip on that. So not only do you have the grippiness of the G10, you have these additional little holes that have been milled in the top layer to expose the underlying color. I gotta say, that is really, really good. There's jumping back here and up here, and like one of the very few knives I've ever seen it. If you are somebody that gets up on the top and have wondered why there's never jumping all the way up the blade, look at that. That is in perfect position to do those things. Pinch cut with your finger up here, great. Now this is done in a, I believe titanium. Hang on, I have my handy dandy test. Yep, it is titanium and is not magnetic. Uh, oh, hey, I'm a dummy. I got one of these, the yep or nah, if you need to test your titanium. Pick one of these up from uh, Machine Machine Co. Uh, so it is a titanium frame lock and in and out of pocket. This has been great so far. I really do like this knife. I like the blade shape. Uh, it, the cutting I've done with it, it came very sharp. This is still the factory edge. Um, so Jared obviously didn't use this too much. It's definitely still got a factory edge. This is a hollow grind in here. So it's nice and thin and then a flat grind at the front. And like I said, just an aesthetically pleasing looking blade. The handle transitions from a narrow to a wide, which feels really good in hand, feels really, really secure. And it is nice and straight, which I found a lot of those knives that are, have the really straight handles are very comfortable in my hand. The action on it, you can either flip it, thumb flip. Can I get the reverse flick? I'm having problems with my hands today, guys. You, you know, I have that. There we go. Reverse flick and flipper tab deployment. So yeah, the thumb studs are extremely functional as is the flipper tab and the flipper tab is not huge and it's got some jimping on it that is pretty good but does not turn into a hot spot. So if you've got slippery hands, you're not going to slip off your flipper tab, but it doesn't turn into an aggressive hot spot at all. And then you've got some jimping all the way back here in this pinch where like, even if you're not here, but you're back here, still really, really functional. Um, and then you've got a backspacer with a lanyard hole in it. That's not a horrible one. And on this, it kind of looks comical and I kind of dig it because you got the eyes and then the, Ooh, he's surprised with a uh, party party confetti up near his head. So all in all, I dig this knife. Now, there are a couple small things that I will mention. And uh, it's just first day in pocket. So I may change my mind on these things a little bit later as we go through uh, the, you know, the review process. But right now, there's a couple small things. So we'll get into the couple of little negative things. 
right after you guys hear from this video sponsor. Guys, with Halloween officially being in the books, you know what that means. It's the start of the holiday season, which means Coffee Brain Coffee is starting to release some of their new flavors. You can see me opening up the one that they sent me right there. This is the butterscotch toffee. It is amazing. I'm having a cup of it right now. They have got some of the best flavored coffees you're going to find. All of their coffee is roasted on demand when you order it, ground or bean sent to your door. They also have cocoa. They have tea. They have got cold brew bags. And the thing is, now that it's the holiday season, they are starting to do their gift boxes. So if you want to get a gift for someone for, for Christmas, I absolutely recommend it. There is no risk because it's a money back guarantee if you try their coffee. And you can save 10% with my link. So check them out. Give them a shot. I absolutely love what they're doing over there. Guys, I got to get out of here and get back to filming. All right, guys. Before we get into the actual negative stuff, I wanted to point out, and I, I had it on my list of things that I'd written down. And I just didn't say it. Access to the lock bar on this is done incredibly well. Almost perfect. So that that out of the way, that's the last of the good stuff. And the pocket clip's really good, too. Um the, the the couple little negative things that I have the critique on this one I I don't I've never liked any of the donuts I don't dig this uh, I think I I don't know it looks gimmicky it looks silly and it's just I get it some people like it um so I'm not a fan of the pink and blue but like I said they do offer this in black so the big things there is some jumping back here that doesn't need to be here up here it's fine but back here I can feel that in the heel of my hand when I'm really bearing down on especially if I'm up further on the knife it kind of I can feel it it's not super uncomfortable but it definitely does detract from the comfort levels of the knife you can see here uh, I've mentioned this about a bunch of knives it kind of rolls out of the cut for me not as badly as others I can definitely uh, I can definitely a, a adjust for it and it's not too much of a, an issue but it does want to roll out of the alignment of the cut. The next couple of things are critiques of the blade. This is a hollow that comes down to a flat, but you can see right here at the tip, it is a very thick, blunted point and area here. And that is just 100% because of the flat part of this is really thick. You can see how thick it is behind the edge compared to back here. The uh, the next thing about the blade, there's an obvious misgrind in the blade. You can see how far back this comes comparatively to this side. See where that transition ends here, but then continues for a good, I want to say quarter of an inch. And what that led you to is you can see that there's a definite misgrind in the edge. See how that transitions up and this doesn't. It stays fairly consistent all the way up. That's because how much further this, this grind needed to come up a little bit further. It does happen, but like I said, transition to there and ends and there's a good several millimeters, if not quarter, eighth of an inch, maybe, uh, where it continues. And then the final critique I really have, because I do like this knife, it's really comfortable in hand. The thumb studs are very sharp, even for my relatively tough and, and hardened hands. Um, they're a little sharp, especially for a reverse flick. A uh, reverse flick, you can definitely feel that that is very sharp on your fingers that might not be as calloused. Um, and that's just a detent issue. You could always like lighten the detent on this. Well, I like a good heavy detent. Um, so for the flipper, it's just fine. But then the last thing, as much as I like this jimping, some people are going to dislike this because when you slam shut on that, you're going to just rock right across some fairly aggressive jimping. I like the fact it's aggressive. It doesn't really bother me that much. But if you've got soft hands, that might be something that does bother you in the deployment. You can always mitigate it by using the thumb studs. But then I said, like I said, thumb studs are a little bit sharp. All in all, I do dig this knife to a point, like I said, because of the finish. So with that being said, you know, we'll carry this for a while. I mean, I may ignore the fact that it's pink and blue. It's not so much that I don't like pink or blue. I just, that's not an aesthetic choice for me for a knife. So let's turn this around, do some final thoughts, and I'll send you out about your day. So there was a lot of tongue in cheek in the intro, and there was a lot of tongue in cheek in the very beginning of that. It, this is a good, good knife. Uh, this is probably the best knife that I've had come in or I've seen with the donut pattern. It's actually put away for right now, so I don't have it to show you. I'm filming this well after the body of the video, but that CDC Chicago is a very nice knife. Um, I'm pretty impressed with it. I carried it all day today. And I ha I've been digging it. Uh, I, I actually like the knife itself. The color scheme, 
not so much. So guys, uh, just a quick first day in pockets on that. If you like the videos, give a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down, but tell me why. I threw an ad for one of my sponsors in. I don't remember which one it's going to be. It probably will be Coffee Mary Coffee because it is the holidays. Uh, speaking of holidays, right now you can use my coupon code CRAZYSHARP at not only Coffee Brand Coffee and Tempered Trail, which also have little discounts built into their links, but you can use that coupon code Crazy Sharp, all one word, at Beyond EDC for the entire month of December and say 40% site wide. You can also use it over at Rosecraft Blades and Fair and Forge Knife Works if you are looking for gifts. Speaking of looking for gifts, you're going to buy a knife, use one of my links down below. They are awesome. Uh, I have got vendors ranging the gamut of all of the major vendors. Uh, knife Ship Free, GP Knives, uh, Blade HQ. I've got also Vostied Knives. I got a big video about a bunch of Vostied Knives that are coming in. Check all them out. You can support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. I've got an Amazon store down below. It works the same. I get a portion of your cash at checkout, but it doesn't cost you anything. Jeff Bezos just have to, has to give it to me. Um, I have built a community Discord down below. You can join that, hang out and join. Please, there are so many people that are not taking advantage of something that's a lot of fun. There's knife trade, knife chat, pocket drops just for fun. I'll add more rooms as it, you know, as necessity provides. I've also got a membership where you can get into my private Discord. Uh, you can also get early or not early access, but exclusive content. I do giveaways for the baseline and premium guys. The premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series. So it's a good investment to support the channel. And I try to provide a benefit and that would be it on this one, guys. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. I'll see you in the next video.